everybody. I am in Saint Gary. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada. You can see Bellagio, beautiful hotel right behind me. Everywhere around here right now is very loud. Windy out there, under my cover. Very, very, very loud. Up and down the hallways, inside, the casinos. It's a beautiful day. I have been to Vegas many times. I've never seen it not be a beautiful day. It's sunny, it's glamorous. And of course, it has an underbelly, dark underbelly. And it can be a sad town for a lot of people. I'm doing this video about Justin Pierce. I've already filmed most of it in upstate New York, where I went to visit his final resting place. Justin Pierce was a young actor in the movie Kids. Next Friday, very, very talented. And his life ended right there. So it's way too loud. I'm gonna do a voiceover right now after I film this. Room 25, 125. If you're staying at the Bellagio or visiting the Bellagio, but if you're staying there, you get a key to the 25th floor. You cannot access the 23rd floor, 24th, 26th. It only takes you to the 25th floor. So I try my best to get to the 25th floor. I got to the 24th. We're gonna walk through the lobby. We're going to go right up to the 24th floor, give you an idea of what the floors look like inside the Bellagio. It was July 10th, 2000, and the Clark County Coroner's Office ruled that Justin Pierce died from suicide in his hotel room there. Metro Police said that Justin hanged himself in his hotel room at the Bellagio after an intense argument with a family member. He had been asked to leave the Hard Rock Hotel by security guards after another confrontation earlier in the day. Apparently there were two suicide notes left behind. Neither have ever been made public. So it's impossible to get to each individual floor. This is what the rooms look like up on this level. This is 24, one floor below. And Justin passed away in 25, 125. As you can see. Hi. Quite beautiful. But yeah, you have to key for each floor. I'm not staying at the Bellagio. Okay, so from Las Vegas to Valhalla, New York, pretty different weather here right now. And it is uh, cold and chilly. I'm in Westchester, I'm at Gate of Heaven Cemetery, and we're gonna go visit the final resting place of Roach, Justin Pierce, right now. 
this cemetery is huge. There are a m multitude of celebrities uh, here as well. And Justin should be right up here on my right. I haven't even checked yet. I like to find the graves along with you, the viewers. See my, my reaction and yours at the same time. He was born in London, England to a Welsh mother and an Australian father. And he was raised in Manhattan. He attended elementary school in the Bronx. His parents divorced. I can see it now. His parents divorced when he was 15 years old. He started skipping school, then dropped out of school, and he was always skateboarding. He stayed in a basement of a building with a bunch of other skaters. He was later found. He got arrested a couple of times. I mean, he was a teenager. Possession of marijuana and heroin substances found under his pants. The results in the court hearing were found inconclusive, which resulted in Justin being released. He went back to live with his parents at the age of 19. So, 1995, there was a movie called Kids. And it was highly, highly controversial because it depicted kids doing real kid stuff. We're talking about teenagers and sex, drugs, drinking in, in New York. And it's, it's a gritty watch. It's a Larry Clark film, if you're familiar with Larry Clark. Makes a lot of gritty movies. So, yeah, it's... Um, it's... It's one of the, it's a 90s movie and I highly highly suggest it and it's different. He was Casper. And if you know um he won an uh Independent Spirit Award for it. I know that for his portrayal of Casper. Casper. <laughs> What's up, Jenny? Casper what are you was doing here a long time no see. Casper was telling. What do you want for telly for? That guy's got no pictures. <laughs> Where is he? Don't look for him. He's doing fine. But he was incredible uh, in the in the movie. He was just so Casper, the friendly ghost. I'm not doing it justice. But that's uh, yeah, that's uh, his tagline. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by looking at his grave right here. For some reason, I had thought um, I'd always thought he was younger when he was in Kids. But he was 20, but he's playing younger. There he is, Pierce, Justin Charles. March 21st, 1975 to July 10th, 2000. Always in our hearts. He's in a few other movies. A Brother's Kiss. This is How the World Ends. He was on Malcolm in the Middle. And then he got another big break when he was Roach in Next Friday. The sequel to Friday. Everybody's favorite movie. I did a video on Friday and I can't believe how many, how popular it was and it made me so happy because I didn't know there was that many other Friday fans out there. And same with next Friday and Friday after next. I love the Friday movies and Roach was such a funny part of the second one. Sorry about today. Yeah, me too. Later. And Justin Pierce, I mean... I'd only really ever seen him before in Kids, and to see him doing a comedic role, he was so good. He was so good. We've already been to the Bellagio, covered his death. Very sad. Very, very sad. Very tragic. Very, very young. 25 years old. They had a service for him at St. Patrick's Old Cathedral in Manhattan. That's in Little Italy. And Chloe Sevigny, his co-star, and apparently whom he dated, she attended. But then they had him a more form at a public theater, or I think at the public theater, I think it was called. It might still be around, the public theater. Dozens of his friends and family and a lot of skateboarders. There was a skateboard store called Supreme, where he used to hang out. They converged a few blocks uh, just around there, uptown from the Supreme skate store. And they played Knocking on Heaven's Door. And apparently it's very, very sad, sad scene to say the least. And I say that, and of course, I, when I say things like that, it's a sad scene. It sounds somewhat trite or, of course, like obviously you're thinking, Scott, it was a sad scene. But when somebody takes their own life 
and at that age it's just uh, the grief people would feel and the guilt why didn't I help him why you know but I'm not gonna get too deep into that but as you know if anybody's ever lost anyone to in that kind of manner you feel those feelings and there's not you feel helpless yeah you feel helpless and you wish there's something you could have done we don't know I don't know what was going through his mind we don't know I should say of course I don't know but there he is there's Justin he's got a he's got a lot of fans some viewers may not recognize him, may not know who who I was speaking about until they, you know, watch the video and then, you know, learn from me. But I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of people that see this video and be like, wow, I remember him. I wonder what happened to him. Or a lot of fans of his that are watching this that know exactly what happened to him because he had a lot of fans. Apparently, he didn't like living in Hollywood. He th thought everybody just talked about acting in movies. Because he did move to Los Angeles after kids. Yeah. Wow. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Rest in peace, Justin Pierce, Roach, Casper. And um, I do hope you rest in peace, fully. Hope you found it. Um, and I say it every time. If you're struggling, if you need help, there are places and numbers you can call. And there's somebody out there that loves you. And there's help. So please, if you're struggling. Thanks for watching, everybody. Love you all. Rest in peace, Justin Pierce. Peace out.